Hey everyone. So ML.NET comes with a ton of transforms that you can use on your data, but there are some cases where you want to create your own transforms and ML.NET has a way where you can do that. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. So to start off, I am in Visual Studio. I have a .NET Core console project loaded and I already have ML.NET downloaded and installed. I'm using version 1.2. And so we'll go ahead and get started and we'll create our ML context. And bring in that namespace. All right, so instead of bringing in a, a data set and using that, uh, I'm gonna keep this even more simple and I'm just gonna create some uh, very small sample data set. And I'm create a list of what I'm going to call the input data. And I need to create that class here. So I'll create a new class. And in this class, I'm just going to uh, create a property. It's going to be a date time. And I'm just going to have a single date. And what I'm going to do in this transform is the data is going to be a single date. And I want to create a custom transform to tell if that date is on the weekend or not. So I'm going to take in a couple of instances of this um, input data. And I need to bring in the list namespace. So I have a couple of dates loaded and a couple of them are on the weekend and the others aren't. So our data, our sample data, I can use the email context dot data that load from enumerable method and just pass in that sample data. All right, so here's where we start using our custom transform here. It's going to be an action that takes in input data as well as the what we're going to do the mapping output data and this is the this is kind of the new column that we want to get out of this new transform so it's another class that we need to create and as i mentioned before what i'm going to do is determine if this is on the weekend or not. So I'm just going to have a boolean that says if, if, if it's on the weekend. So we have that input and the output here. What we do is for our, we're going to set the output that is weekend, and that's going to be the input that date, and we do the day of week, and we we'll say if it's either Saturday. or Sunday. So that's our that's our new column pretty much right here is this is right here is this is weekend and we do we're gonna calculate it based on what our current input is. And next we need to create a pipeline. Do transforms and to, to use this, we use the custom mapping method that we have here. And we give it the mapping action that we just created. And we can give it a contract name. I just name custom map. Now we have our pipeline. We need to fit and transform on it with our current data. 
So use the pipeline, we fit on our data. And then from there, I call transform on that as well. Now that we have that data transformed with our custom map, we can get the enumerable of that data. Create from enumerable. And we here will have a new class. And what this class is going to do is just going to hold our input data as well as our mapped data, our calculated data that, that we're getting. Passing the transform data, and we're going to tell it to reuse the row object so it doesn't create uh, a new a new uh, object for each row. And since we have that enumerable data, we can loop on it with a for each. And we can print out the date and then if it's on the weekend. There you go. And that's pretty much all you have to do to create a custom transform. So let's see how this runs. There we go. So the 6th and the 14th were on both on weekends where the 19th and the 2nd weren't. All right, so that's just a, a quick video to show how easy it is to create a custom mapping within ML.net and this is mostly useful when you're doing f feature engineering to get a better model than what the, you have in your current data so you can make new data from the data that you have to get a better model. So, all right, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Thanks.